your audio jack, if it even exists, is not the best and I have the solution for you. This is the J. Kelly GM6 Pro DAC plus amp combo, which comes in at around $17 or roughly around 1000 pesos, or maybe even less, depending on where you actually buy it from. So this dongle-ish type of thing has its CX31993 DAC chip and a Max97220 amp chip. So you know it's going to perform well as it doesn't function solely as an adapter, but it's a proper active DAP in dongle form. So its form factor is very small and very, well, you know, portable. Included in the box itself is the dongle, a warranty card, and a cover for the USB-C. All pretty basic, all things considered, but this is what you really want to look at. So how does it work? Well, the CX31993 chip is responsible for digital to analog conversion through a method called pulse code modulation or PCM where it starts with like a digital source encoded through ones and zeros called bits which look like this if it's well visible for you but it's going to somehow look similar to this and analog is a sine wave wherein it's smooth and it's pretty much infinite actually and if you can see like the thing on my back which is audacity recording my voice through my microphone right in front of me that's what's analog going to look like pcm is a method of essentially saving recorded analog signals like voices and instruments through mics again similar to that and it is this data which is used by the DAC to convert digital signals into analog after the conversion from digital which is the input to analog which is the output the signal is fed into the input of the operational amp or just the amp because despite the data being technically usable as is it's still too low powered and won't power on the drivers inside things like your ims or speakers to produce audible sound this is where the amp or the max 97220 chip comes in to boost the low powered analog signals coming out of the DAC to something that can power on the drivers in your audio equipment and let you enjoy your music through a digital source. Now, technically, you don't need a dedicated amp or DAC if you don't want to have better audio. You can keep using that built-in jack in your devices as it already has the DAC and the amp necessary to power most consumer electronics and devices. You could also buy something cheaper like the Apple dongles which can do 80% of the work that the GM6 Pro can do. You would only realistically want to buy something like this if you're getting into the hobby or if you want something that's better than the entry-level offering but won't really break the bank. So, how does it sound? As someone who's an actual average consumer, I can hear minimal differences, honestly, in most cases. It's mostly just less hiss, which is something I didn't notice until I did an A-B test, and in which case, I thought it was just placebo. But regardless, even if the sound differences can be heard when playing music through glossy sources like Spotify, it makes songs you listen to a lot louder because of that amp. And on the technical side of things, the noise floor is rated at 124 decibels, making it suitable for critical listening. And the crosstalk is, well, it's rated actually at very low minus 110 decibels, providing excellent channel separation. The harmonic distortion, which is, well, it's something that all interfaces or audio related products have is rated at minus 95 decibels so overall really good in simple terms it's power efficient and it can drive all iams in the market including high impedance iams like the moon rock cattle or the 700 timeless and its housing is a very nice aluminum on both ends connected by this four core cable so put that all together and you have one killer setup that can even drive mid-tier headphones with the only limitations being maybe the lack of a balanced output and the few but still present reports of hissing sounds in the background that other people have experienced and well they reviewed you should also take note that although it will make your spotify music a bit better and quite frankly a whole lot louder it still won't make your experience the best as you need to make sure that your source is lossless and the dac on the jm6 pro can bypass the actual built-in DAC of your device. This is especially true on Android devices. And setting up your device to actually play lossless and bypass the built-in DAC is another video in of itself. So make sure to tell me in the comments if this is a topic that you're interested in. In conclusion, what you get with the DAP is always going to be better than what the built-in jacks 
if it's even present, can provide without using lossless files and without bit matching. And it's not placebo. Try it for yourself by purchasing them in one of the links in the description. Keep in mind that all of them are going to be affiliate links, so I'll be getting a kickback from each purchase made using my links without any added cost to you. I'm just getting into the hobby, and if you're interested in audio related products like IEMs, make sure to subscribe and comment what IEMs you might be interested in. Well, what? And this has been the Jake Ali James X Pro, and my name is Charles, and thank you for your time. Thank you for your time. Take care. <laughs> Bye. Ooh, sound good.